Hello and welcome to a new episode of Cosmeteers. Yeah, we finally got some great ship. It's slowly powering up because it's one hell of an amazing ship with a lot of people in it. And let's speed it up to normal speed because that's more like it. So let me take you on a tour. This is well, what the name of the ship? I don't even know that one. Let's see what's what's the name of the ship? It's the Crescent Rat. Right, it's almost the expensive ship I could get. We sacrificed my favorite ship for this one, and let's hope it doesn't gonna be a pain in the ass because I tried a lot of these ships and there's some quite nice ships in it like like this one the Gregor but this one the twin cruise is it's it's not a nice ship to fly it's it's a pain in the ass I tried the Starhawk I tried the constellation the constellation wasn't that good either Starhawk is kind of good with some modifications, the I think the best ship in the game, and it's also quite cheap. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? I can't even find it. Where is the ship? Uh, I can't even find it. Yeah, this one, the Baylor Reaper. I, at one stage, I got three Baylor Reapers. I modified it and made it quite strong. The only problem is there's yeah it it's once it's getting damaged it's getting damaged pretty bad and it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. All right, so we got the crescent rat now, and oh yeah, and we are going to try and fire the baby up. <laughs> We're not in the hardest area at the moment, but we'll need to get a little bit. Yeah, we need to take take it slowly because I don't know the ship yet. Uh, it's not that fast, as you can see. It it got a lot of. Oh, uh, let's let's follow you. It's got a lot of uh, crew members. It's got. Oh, oh. We got somebody sneaking up on me. Oh well, uh, we can take them boat. We should be able to take them boat. All right, let's take a look at this guy. This shouldn't be too hard. Let's focus everything on the main gun. As you can see, my ship is way bigger. That's one. Now the only problem is I need to turn it around, so let's use the boosters. That way I got my shielding on the right side. Now let's take a look at this little thing. Oh, it's it's almost destroyed. Did we even get money for that one? Yeah, we did. All right. Well, at least we didn't take that much damage. So <laughs> the main power of this great ship is is uh, iron cannons, iron emitters, beams, iron beams emitters. All right. Uh, we got four of them. We got some great gun defense. We've got a heavy laser. I'm not that kind of fond of heavy lasers. We got some cruise missiles or some missile launchers in here. And the biggest problem when I got the ship was it didn't even have an FTL drive. So I had to fit it in. And as you can see, it's not even at 100%. I've placed one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, nine <laughs> FTL drives in this uh, thing to get it even closely of moving. All right, let's let's speed it up a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn, turn. Let's speed it up. Ding, 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 ding. <clears throat> With these big ship, you should have a speed that's quite bigger than speed four. All right, this is kind of small one, so it's already firing at me. That's kind of strange. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, that looked quite quite cool. So this is just a small map to get 
a little bit the hang of this ship and we are going to put it to the test because I haven't really put it to the test and this is also another challenge if I just hit this front and shield oh want to stay at the center oh that must have hurt I should have slowed the speed a little bit but now we are going for a real challenge I've been digging I thought I already did a lot of solar systems it must be reloading yes it's reloading the solar system once you start up the game again all right that's, that's quite nice because I already did a lot of solar systems yeah I did them here they are <clears throat> they are not reloading all right now we are going to make it a little bit harder on myself we've got an elite here we got an elite here and a vanguard and I want to go with the with the elite I guess yes the veterans they're a little bit easier and professional so no, we are going for the elite immediately because I want to make some money all right now let's take a look at my ship how it's loading so let's go to slow speed and as you can see everybody is walking to fill up my engines but there are a lot of FTL engines they need to fill up and as you can see it's going to take a long time and it sounds like crazy come on power it up power it up that one's powered up oh man this sounds crazy And they're still not powered up. 89%. And ding! And let's go. And he's gone. Alright, we're at Fazenva. Now, the biggest problem of a big ship is that it's need to load up. And as you can see, the shields are slowly loading. And there are a lot of people people walking around doing nothing at the moment so we are going to wait just a little bit I already tried the fleet mechanic in the last episode and it was also yeah it had a hard time making a fleet I couldn't could get like five six ships and they would get the job done but in the end you do want to have a big ship oh, um, oh let's turn this big baby around and as you can see the bigger they are the slower they move it's always the same with those ships Bing! someone is coming in range if you do enjoy this game you can try down below I can put the link in the description you can download or donate some free bucks all right let's take a look at the chip and yeah you can get it for free but it's worth some bucks to donate it to these guys all right this is kind of fun ship because it got its main reactor in this side and it got a main reactor on that side and then it got a lot of guns so i could break it apart but we are going to focus on that area got no shield at all so it shouldn't be a problem uh, let's take a little bit out of range because I am way better equipped for long range we are getting in range is going to change his position and the beams are going through must be quite armored oh my hell look at this is breaking through my front wall. oh this is not a good thing this is definitely not a good thing lucky I got plenty of other guns left but this is going to cost me a pretty penny
So let's see, let's focus on these main big guns because they're tearing me apart. I wasn't expecting this at all. I wasn't expecting this at all. My total front bay has been destroyed. <laughs> and, and there you see it, guys. Big ship aren't the best. I should have stick with my little Reaper. Would have done a pretty damn good job. But I need to destroy this one. The biggest problem is now my loading time. It's quite too slow. Funny part, these are still firing. But this guy's got way too much armor. Now let's focus on that area. This really caught me on surprise. Lucky, lucky we get a lot of long range missiles still operational. This is kind of scary pushing this button. Oh my god, 400. 450. Yeah, we're going in depth. The fun part is. No, I can't sell that. Oh my god. I didn't expect this at all. And then we haven't even tried the Vanguard. Maybe I should have gone closer to range so these guns could have done a better job. But I guess the main problem is my shielding at this position. So we are going to change it a little bit. But I can't change it. Oh man, I got no money. Because this got no protection at all. The main gun does have protection, but it took me on surprise on the lower areas and it got no protection. Last ship I had had a lot of protection. Alright, hollow not our oh, man. No, alright. Let's see if we can do a better one with the next ship. Yeah. Come on, come on. Just need to go to that one. We need to uh, turn the side around and make some money. Now we can always try another ship. Maybe we should do that. Let's cancel it or turn around. Don't want to fight yet. I don't want to fight yet. Because we are going to sell you. And that's going to make me almost 2 million. And we're out of depth again. So we can't do that one. We can't do that one. Alright, this is going to be a tricky one. I already got this one and it was not that good. Let's take the fighter Roy. That one's also crappy. Yeah, we are going for the fighter Roy. We are going to take our bet. And this is kind of funny ship. Got a lot of thrusters everywhere, but I don't see any shielding. Got some shielding at the top, some shielding in the middle, alright. And I guess this is the front of the ship, with the shielding in this area. So what's your main problem? You are way underpowered and I'm already seeing that, so... Wait a minute, are we shooting? No, we're not shooting. 
I was thinking I heard some shots and that's not good. Let's change this because this balance is way wrong, way wrong. And uh, let's get some huge thrusters, huge potential engine. Alright, and it's boost thruster engine room. Uh, but I need power, I need power. This one. Because we've got some power issues. I'm going to change this quite a bit around. I want one here, I want one here, I want one there, I want one there. I'm going to make one extra there. We got plenty of people, so could use one there, could we use one there? Now yeah, this is a quite better balance. Alright. Let's first try and take that one. Oh come on. And then yeah. Let's see how this goes. Give some extra protection. And I wonder, am I close range ship? I got a lot of missiles in here. So the basic system is missiles. You got some turrets areas in this section. But the main, yeah, it is missiles. All right. All right. So missiles is long range and for a ship with a lot of point playing point uh, defense, this doesn't uh, this ship doesn't got that kind of defense. Let me show you. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, do I have them on my ships? Yes, these these uh, point defense systems they shoot down the missiles. So I got a few, but I know there are ships that have a lot of them. And those are kind of hard to take down as a missile ship. This one is mainly got one main gun that we should be able to take down pretty fast. So I'm going to aim for this section. And uh, we are going to. Now let's. We are already shooting. Why aren't the missiles going out? Alright, I was wondering. And this is their main gun, as yes, you can see there. And it's going pretty well because we took that one gun down in just a few seconds. Alright, this is a good victory. We did a lot of damage and only 25,000. Repair, so that was kind of a good battle. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that at all. So for now, we are going to try and take down these last two ships. And if you guys really enjoyed this game, try it down in the link down below. Put your experience in the description of the video, and maybe we'll come back to this game with when it's out in full and ready to play with the mods and everything because I saw drone mods I saw a lot of extensions you could put on the game and yeah that's what it's all about this game is about building your spaceship and giving the communities a way of expanding their things of what they want to build alright so this ship is turning its back on me but we are going for the center area because that's quite undefended. And uh, let the barrage go away. Because that ship won't stand a chance. Oh my god, that was one hell of a battle. So as you can see, my biggest problem is my ammo. So we should do something about that. 
<laughs> but this this ship isn't scaring me one little bit. All right, and 19 damage. That that's quite good. So the basic ships you can buy are decent, but they're not the best so you need to add it on your own and maybe i'll keep on playing this and try the terror out one day or even put in some mods on this game and try them out because i do love the idea of drones being in the game so i hope you guys all enjoyed this series and i'm going to get over to itch.io and try and find me a new great itch game and i hope to catch you all on my next video my name is materius and if you haven't already press the subscribe button and press the little bell and hope to see you in my next video.